Hello, and welcome back to the Tucker and Crowley Report. Franklin Tucker, senior editor of the Belmontonian is with me, and I'm Mike Crowley. Uh, first, I will just say that um, any views or comments or uh, ex things expressed on this program while we attempt to provide a public service as news um, are solely the responsibility of those uh, doing this program and do not represent the views of the Belmont Media Center, its management, its staff, or its directors. All right, Franklin, how, how about um, let's talk about the news. All right, uh, let's, uh, the, the first thing we can talk about is uh, something that's very important, and that is uh, the budget summit, uh, which is coming up tonight. Um, so if you want to see it, you can go to uh, the Belmont Media Center. They're going to be recording that. Uh, it's going to be the start of the entire budget process. For this year. That's right. Um, and it's going to be a special one because it's, it's historic in a way that um, how it's being done. You know, the budget is going to be done much earlier than it's ever done, been done before. A bit earlier. That's right. I think three months, four months earlier. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be done in, um, well, we're going to have uh, projected revenue figures uh, for um, the town in, I believe it is in mid or late October. And those are the numbers that are going to so, be used. We're not going to wait until as far as even, you know, May but to we'll, figure out what the numbers are. But, but will we update those numbers if we have new information available through the process. I don't think they're going to be updating it by much. Right. I think, you know, and what, what it is, is that um, uh, this is going to be um, uh, a budget that is going to be um, um, set and the numbers are going to be set by uh, uh, forecasts of, of, of what, of what, you know, uh, forecasts, you know, we're, well, not, we're not going, we're not going to have actual numbers. We're going to forecast and say, this is what we're going to have. We're going to, we're going to need, but so so it's not unlike what we've done in the past because every budget process starts with forecast of 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 the revenues. But these are going to be more, uh, you know, there's going to be uh, hard and fast figures, and you know we'll we'll go, and that's going to be much earlier in the process, and that's one of the reasons why uh, uh, town meet the annual town meeting in May is going to be uh, a one week um, or even two weeks of. Um, uh, you know, it's because everything is going to be already done. We're, we're not going to. So, be, so we're not going to be looking into June looking for yeah, looking well, at the numbers. So, so, so instead of of um, having two separate uh, town meetings, segment A, which deals with non financial matters, and segment B, which deals with the budget, bu the budget. Mm -hmm. um, there will be one town meeting, and the plan is to wrap it by May. Uh, or, or, you're right in the middle of May. In the middle of May, which is about a month earlier than than in the past. That's right. And these are these are going to be longer sessions. They're going to be like three uh, three nights uh, one week and three nights the next uh, the next week. Um, and, uh, and that's because we're going to have the budget already set. People will be bringing sleeping bags. That's right. This is not going to be one of those <laughs> Belmont 10, 10 o'clock. Everybody goes home. No, this is going to be more like uh, places like Needham and in Lexington, where you're going to be there until. You know, the witches have come out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the Belmont Media Center will be recording uh, tonight's budget summit. And I, and, and I should say that uh, nothing of real substance is going to be done today. There's not going to be. No, but it's, it's There's laying, not going to be numbers. It's laying out. So, it's laying out the process. That's right. It's yeah. it, you know, no one's going to be told how much money you're going to be able to spend. The, the school committee won't be, you know, have have a finger pointed at them and saying, you know, you've got to spend this much money. It's going to be, um, as um, Jennifer Hewitt, the uh, financial director, the town's financial director, said, we're, we're going to start this really slow, and um, we're, we're going to introduce everything, you know, in a very, very measured way. So uh, not much excitement, but still something. Uh, there will be things to uh, to latch on uh, to, to okay. remember and, because and the budget process again, it's going to be quick. And it's significant. So anybody who's interested in in the budget process, either be there tonight or. Uh, that's that's tonight, as in um, Thursday, uh, September. Franklin, help me out. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday the twenty sixth. Yes, or uh, 
uh, you can watch the recording at the Belmont Media Center. And that usually comes down a day later, Friday or Saturday. Okay. So let's talk about something else that is coming up before the select board and the planning board on Monday evening. Something that we didn't hear about. Uh, it's just, it came out yesterday and there is the select board is going to have a joint meeting with the planning board. And it's going to be a presentation on the, on the financial feasibility analysis and uh, fiscal impact of a potential development of the pier code site. And this is this is um, this is a residential development. Is that correct, Frank? That's right. This is pure. Uh, this is residential. I think it's five stories with the first floor. It's going to be commercial. You know, just stores, not mm -hmm. nothing really. Um, uh, it's not going to be an IKEA. You know, you'll have uh, right. just, so so so. I mean, that does that does tell me there's a, a bit of mixed use in there. Yeah, it's it is. Uh, but it's uh, but it really is a uh, large scale. Um, uh, residential, uh, almost uh, like the Hill Estate, but it's going to okay. be much more concentrated. It's not going to be spread out. Okay, so yeah, and and this is uh, something that um, uh, Patrice Garvin asked for uh, when when Pure Coat uh, uh, came to the town, and, and and they they they've been to the town uh, as early as as the spring to talk about this. And this, of course, has impacts when it comes to. Um, the MBTA communities. And I, I, I want to ask you about that, Franklin, because um, up until recently, and, and we've had some changes of, of faces on the planning board, but up until recently, uh, the planning board seemed to be leaning in favor of keeping that site purely commercial. So, mm -hmm. so this is a big change if the planning board goes along with. That's right. It's the first map that everybody was like everybody was uh, gravitating towards and 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 that the um, um, I, I uh, that the committee that was before this before the planning board that sent uh, the the, map, the MBA uh, communities advisory the committee advisory committee they really uh, were pushing for um, um, a, a much more um, commercial base you know and uh, but now when Pureco came in and said we we're going to put in yeah, what is 125 or 250 units some some large amount and um and uh so with that that really forced the hand of, of the planning board and said look we have to at least make a map with with pure code with a, with a possibility of a pure code um uh, uh development so the first map which everybody seemed to to agree was a good map is going to be superseded by the second map because of this development you know it's it's Things change. No, I, I, I think the MBTA community ad, ad, Communities Advisory Committee had actually targeted this site for potential residential and the planning board, um, or at least the planning board at the time, seemed to be leaning toward, towards keeping it entirely commercial. That's right. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So that's coming up Monday. And then that, that's going to be important because, you know, the, uh, the fiscal impact is going to be uh, important because if you have um, two uh, two bedroom, three bedrooms, those could be used for you know families can start there, and that means an impact on the schools. What is the impact on police and fire, um, on any kind of other uh, uh, town uh, service? Um, but the uh, financial feasibility is is also it could be it, it's it would be great to find out exactly how much in taxes are will this bring, and you know what 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 can the town expect. With a, with a new development there. And, but of course, you know, when we're talking about a new development and planning board, it, this is going to take years before it starts even building. Yeah. So, so I, I believe that, it, that, that one of the select board members had done um, at least a preliminary uh, financial impact analysis and. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Roy Epstein. Yeah. And was um, projecting a net positive fiscal impact. Well, you know, yeah, I think even supporters say that net positive is not going is it won't be outrageously in the in the positive. I think they think, you know, it's going to be I I, I think, you know, there, there have been um, um, uh, there, there was a, a, an analysis that said that any big development is going to be, you know, as, as one person said, a wash, you know, yeah. you don't know if you're going to get, you know, I, I mean, you, you only need to look at Cushing uh, Village and, and see that that hasn't, you know, been a cash cow for the town. And that's in uh, Cushing Square. Okay, so if you're interested in the Pure Coat, Coat site... Um... And it should be interesting, not just for the development and the financials, uh, it should be uh, also interesting 
for the neighbors. It's a big change to the neighborhood. A huge change for the neighborhood. Um, and um, it's also next to uh, um, the school department. You know, so what, what is that? What, what, what do you have when you have a five story building, you know, uh, next to your um, uh, school? You know, how much but more potentially uh, more students? Yeah. yeah, exactly. All right. So um, we'll see what's presented on Monday night. And um, let's uh, let's talk about special town meeting next, which is coming up. Um, which, which, of course, we talk about the MBTA community. Right. And <laughs> and I believe that it's it's so the dates haven't been pinned down, but I think they're talking about the week of November 18th. That's right, because it's it really is uh, something that um, um, I believe there was a, um, a survey that was presented to town meeting members and uh, no one wants to go after Thanksgiving. That's that's a no go. No one wants to go during the Thanksgiving week because everybody's going to be heading out of town. Uh, and no one wants to do it in December. Uh, no one, and, and, and basically the town clerk said, we have a national election happening. Oh. And, and then she, and then uh, the town clerk said, you know, she has to certify everything. And that's going to just cause, you know, they're just going to be busy for those two weeks. There's only one week left. You know? okay. <laughs> it's the week so, of the 18th. But, you know, as Patrice Carvin said, she said, I think we can, she said, I think we can do this in two nights. And I think, you know, I know that the two of us believe that's, that's wishful so that, thinking. So that, that, <laughs> in, in my mind, that seems. Un, wishful un, thinking. Un, wishful thinking. <laughs> um, and, but, uh, you know, and, she, she, they are going to put three nights and, away. Right. At least in the tentative planning, right. they are talking three nights. With, so, with a hope that it only goes for two nights. You know, and I, I you know, it's funny because, you know, everybody was worried about uh, the, the NBA communities and, you know, how the, they said, you know, this is, you know, we have two maps and, you know, this is going to take a long time to, to figure out, I, I guess, I guess town administration and, um, you know, believe that they and, and the select board believe that um, this is, this can be done quickly. And I think, you know, there's just going to be like, these are the facts. Vote. So I do want to ask you this, Franklin. Um, is this the only issue that we'll see before um, the, the special town meeting? Uh, we haven't. Clo I don't think we have closed the warrant yet. So um, there could be other things that are coming in, but I don't see any like massive, you know. So I, I am aware controversial. Yeah. Well, I am aware of um, of signature collection yeah. going on to try to bring uh, to to town meeting. Um, bring back the issue of a five member select board, which was recommended by a special committee of town meeting. Um, Long ago. <laughs> well, a, a few years ago. Uh, and, and, and just for the sake of disclosure, I was on that committee. And and, and the issue with that is is that um, um, you have to realize when you do that, it, uh, the select board becomes a policy uh, 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 group. You know, they're not going to be giving uh, giving uh, alcohol licenses those are a lot of that job that they do now will be switched over to the town administrator uh, so um, and, and, and no one's opposed to it I mean I think a lot of people think that no, would be a good thing I, but I don't think anybody wants to go through the process of, of doing this because it's like we've got so many other things we've got a budget we got you know MBTA there, there are other things that are happening in the future but I, I think there is some appetite because because um, um, I wonder if I wonder if town meeting if you if your town meeting members are, are are all that like I think they would want to hear a little bit more I mean you know oh, for sure you know we talk about um, uh, uh, let's say the community of preservation you know uh, the, the community preservation committee you know they said you know uh, I know that there's somebody who who are you know, there's a group of people who want to who, to do a lot of work um, or want to take over uh, west of Harris Field. They want to make it into a youth um, uh, playing field mm -hmm. along with tennis courts. And they believe that they have, you know, they can, they wanted to get it as soon as possible. They wanted to move this forward. But, you know, Aaron Piglinus, who, you know, is the, head, uh, the chair of the uh, CPC said, no, we need more study. We need, we need to really think this out. And I think the same thing will happen if you do, if you go before town meeting, they're going to say, well, let's think this out. Let's, you know, we, we support it. But let's find out, you know, before we may, before we put a vote in, let's figure out what's happening. And that's the way Belmont always is. Say, let's let's look over it one more time. One yeah. more time. So appoint another committee. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes, yes. <laughs> the All committee right. to so, think about the five-member committee. All right. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, it will be interesting to see 
um, how controversial that is or not. I don't um, think it, I, you know, personally, I don't think it is controversial. I think it's it's a mindset that people have already said that they, they want. Um, it, but it's really how the implementation and um, do we have the time? Do we have the energy? <laughs> no, but but frankly, one of the arguments for an give expanded it, give it select the, board. Give it, to the, give it to the new members of the, sele of the town meeting. Okay. Make oh, them one, one of the arguments, Franklin, for for the expanded select board is that, you know, the, the select board, I mean, it's turned into vir virtually a full-time job. Right. And the three members that we currently have yeah. um, are, are frankly, you know, many people would argue stretched. And mm -hmm. and, and I, I can tell you that having talked to some members of the select board, they just put in an astounding amount of time. That, and I think, uh, once again, there there's no doubt about it that a five member board, just just on policy, you would have a lot, it'd be a more, you know, in terms of, uh, it's almost like a city man. You know, that the, all, the, all the stuff that they're doing right now, if you look at an agenda, you're going like, it's like these guys don't have to do these, you know, like three quarters of what what, what they have to do. Appointing people to uh, to uh, committees, uh, liquor licenses, you know, it, it, it's something that you know, it's just a you know, it's just another burden that they have to go through. Let a town administrator, you know, make, and you may have to now change from a town administrator to a strong town manager, and. There are a lot of people who have a lot of questions about uh, this current administration. Uh, I think, uh, personally, I think that they, they're very critical for a lot of very unsubstantive reasons. Uh, but um, now that's just my personal opinion. But um, so we'll see. Okay. You know. Any other potential issues that might come up before special town meeting in November? You never know. They usually, they usually <laughs> come out of the woodwork and you're like, well, how, how did this happen? All right, so, so we'll we'll see. So it could be more than three nights. Oh, no, please. no. <laughs> we are not we are not spending Thanksgiving. All right, we're not spending Thanksgiving at a town meeting. Okay, so no turkey at town meeting. <laughs> um, all right, so frankly, now now to um, a, a sad bit of news. Um, Belmont has lost a beloved crossing guard. What can you tell us? Well, you you know more than, than I do. You told me about that. What's his name? Uh, uh, Ruben, Ruben Wheeler, a, a ten year crossing guard. Yeah, at, um, at, at the at, at the corner of uh, Common, Washington and, and, and Common, Common which, which is which was my uh, street. Uh, uh, where uh, my son would walk across. Uh, he's think. he's stopped me many times. <laughs> he stopped you. <laughs> very nice, very uh, very, nice very accommodating, especially for the kids. Kids love him. Yeah. And he's 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 uh, passed away, which is very sad. Yeah, they were going to have you know he had when he went into hospice care, and um, there was going to be a planned um, uh, uh, like a like a all the kids were going to then you know go to his house on a uh, Harding. Um, and, um, you know, just wave to him, but, um, you know, life is what it is. It'll yeah. be. Okay. So we have a townwide yard sale coming up on Saturday. Franklin, can you tell us anything about that? Yeah, there's a town. <laughs> there's yard a town wide yard I, went sale. One, I went to one last year and I actually got a, a really, a really nice shirt. So yeah, they're, they're, yeah, you have to do a lot of moving. Uh, the rec department has a map go to it and uh, you know the best it, it and, lists every address that's right and you know what it's it's best as i found out last year just stick to one area because you're not going to go throughout the town stick to one area and then walk to, to these places and then it becomes like a really enjoyable day you know and i understand that it's going to be sunny this weekend or i i do not know i will have to find out okay and so let's let's uh wrap with sports frank let's yeah we have a lot of sports in Bel belmont going on we're almost midway through the season uh field hockey uh, had a, had a big win against a uh, top 10 team in winchester they won three two it's a very good uh field hockey team this year mm -hmm. but it's the, the surprise team this year is also uh, uh girls soccer um they're undefeated so far in the season they've uh They've taken on um, a really good competition, and uh, they're right now six uh, six wins, zero losses, and three ties, and uh, they have a, a great defense. So that's why they're doing so well. Um, uh, Boy soccer is, also has a winning record. Um, volleyball is, has an up and down year because they lost a lot of seniors mm -hmm. last year, and they lost their big hitters. Uh, but you know we should see more of that. Cross country is doing boys cross country doing very well. 
Um, and uh, we can expect um, swimming to be as uh, competitive as they've always been. And uh, so that's where we are right now. Okay, well, thank you, Franklin. And as always, you can find more of Franklin's reporting at belmontonian.com. Be sure to tune in next time, um, and we will see you then.